Hello, this tutorial is going to cover the Aardvark Optimal Multi-Assignment Finder dash Multi-Hop for FS Economy. The link will be in the description below. The first thing you're going to need is your user access key. This is the only thing that people seem to find confusing. You want to go to your FS Economy login, go to Home, Data Feeds, and right here is going to be your pilot name and your access key. If this says Null, just press this reset button. If it doesn't, highlight it, copy it, go back to our assignment finder, paste it in here. Sometimes there's a blank space at the front of these, so I usually do it, just do a delete and then put the letter back in to make sure you don't have any blank spaces. If there's a because if there's a blank tab in there, you'll get a bunch of errors and this won't work. So I'm good to go with mine. We now want to find our starting airport and an airplane. So let's go look at our group's aircraft and planes. We're going to use the 1900D at UWKD. So UWKD and the airport name changed. Don't worry about this runway length that will auto fill in, in a minute. We're going to select our plane. It's a Beechcraft 1900D and voila that number changed. All these numbers fill in automatically for, for, for the appropriate plane you selected. I usually leave all the boxes checked down here except all in because that will find all the jobs. If you want to find specific jobs like express, normal, or passenger, or cargo, just have the appropriate boxes checked. Next, we're going to search. I'm only going to search for three hops, so a maximum of three hops. And I'm going to do ten alternates and one deadhead leg. Okay, the idea here is that's going to tell you how many maximum number of flights you want to use. So if you only have time to do one flight, put a one in there. If you got time to do a bunch, like even if you have time to do a bunch of flying, put in the 10 and let it run for a while, so you'll find a whole bunch of flights. Uh, alternate routes, it's going to consider assignments as you go along, not just off your initial route. It will look for routes out, look for airports outside things along the basic route. So we're going to find out to pull assignments, and this will start spinning. Once it stops spinning, the results will be at the bottom. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum. And there are our results. All of these boxes are clickable. So number of legs, maximum was three. Number of assignments is 24. I like to have, I like to fly by the best net pay route. And in this case, it comes up with UWKD, UWKE, UARR, UWWW. So how do we get the jobs? If you click on view details, and then I'm going to middle click on one of these to open up a new tab. So I still have this window available in case I wanted to change my mind. But if I middle click on this and I'm already logged into FSC like I am up here. Go to the new tab and bam, all the assignments are automatically selected for you. And all you got to do is go fly it. Things to note about these little tabs in here. You can, if you want to fly a short route, take the total distance one. You want to go a certain direction. Sure. Look for the bearing and see if something that see something see see if a route is going the way you want your plane to go. Very easy to use. How one thing to consider if you put in something like 10, 50, and say two. This is what I usually do because it's going to give me the most possible flights. But it's going to take three to five minutes to run because it's searching through all these airports trying to find all these jobs. And that's it. That's how to use the route finder tool. Hope it helps.